Hello everyone and welcome back to Love for Women's podcast. This is episode 51. Wow. Yeah, nearly a year. Oh my god. <laughs> I said to Amy, is it, she went to me, is it episode 51? I went, yeah, she went, when's it a year then? Oh like, yeah, 52 weeks in Next year. week. Wow. And then Sai just insulted me. Because I said, oh, we should do something special for like a year. And he said, because I, I might not be here, I think I am, but I might. Yeah, I am, but like, at the time <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, I'm making myself here now. Um, and he was like, oh, maybe you should just do it without Amy for your special. <laughs> I was like, for you? It's just me on my own. Like, <laughs> that would not be entertaining. But yeah, so kick off question then. Um, we do this every week, but we're going to change it because normally Amy tries to make one up like 30 seconds before and we start the podcast. And they're always terrible. Yeah. So we're going to start picking out comments from... Um, Lot, like the week before his podcast so you have a question and you want to be the kickoff question comment it down below and we pick and we'll we best. might pick yours yeah but do you want to say what it is cool so this question is from callum sanderson five no nope. callum no. sanderson <laughs> five, days five days ago <laughs> <laughs> he's also got <laughs> one subscriber um what the question i'll just get to the question <laughs> What do you guys see as the benefit and slash or consequences of a possible Premier League takeover of the WSL? I put the benefits as there'd be more money going into clubs and like the game like and stuff like that, which also could lead to more exposure for the game. But then I also don't want it to become like a commercial brand type of yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. I know what you mean. Um... I think I'm kind of the same reasons. I'd say yes, because the same means you get more money, then you can mm. put it in grassroots and the quality gets better, like, and from it, a young age. It could lead to, like, better stadiums and stuff like that exactly, that you can yeah. play in. And exposure as well. But I've kind of been on, on, on this about... I love how personal and mm. the, the women's game is, like, the accessibility week in, week, week out, like... If you were to tag, for example, I'm just going off today, like we posted a few photos of the squad going away to USA, yeah. tagged some of the girls in it. Like we have Christy Murray and Gemma Perford liking a post. If you were to tag, I don't know, Fabinho, Virgil van Dijk in a photo, they're it's not necessarily going to see it or like it. And I love that perspective because it, it shows the fan engagement rather than just, we know we have fans, but we don't know who the fans yeah. necessarily are. Yeah. But I think with the women's game, they know who the fans are that go in week week in week out and as much as we do want the the game to grow i don't want to lose that more Mm -hmm. it's just more natural like the the exposure that we're allowed to have but i think bark the the barclays one this year is going to be a massive um changing point and it's going to make you see what it potentially would be like to have the premier league take over not and and not kind of have it happen to find out if that yeah. makes sense you've got sort of like a step towards yeah. it which gives you an, an idea of what it's it's going to be about i think yeah i don't think any women's football fan would have an issue with it as long as it just didn't take the route of like it's only about the money do you know what yeah. I mean? it's only about what clubs bring in and like, like when you get into like what 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 was the latest transfer 100 odd million for a yeah. player that's when it gets silly so yeah. i'm not about that no definitely not i think women's football is where men's football was years and years ago when yeah. like when alan shearer signed and it was like a couple of million sort of thing yeah, i think that's yeah. what it, it, it's it's almost at that level and if you think where like the men's game is now it's it's incredible it shows it shows a level like the other week when we were talking about Lika Martins may potentially go into Leon, and her buyout clause was three million. And, and Sam, we, and Sam we, Care as well. Yeah, and we were like, oh my god, three million! Like, is massive. Like, some clubs don't have that money. Yeah. But then Griezmann's just signed for Barcelona, and it, there's rumours that his buyout clause is eight hundred million, and it's like, that's just that's Level, just levels. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's all it is. But yeah, I think as long as it's done well, then I don't think anyone's having an issue with it. No. Um. Some exciting news that was come out of the club yesterday was that Frank Kitchen and Anka Price have signed new contracts, so they'll be with us for a further year. I didn't know they were only on a year's contract. I think I'm starting to see a bit of a trend. Yeah. I think a few of the players were only on, especially that signed from the lower tiers, were only on one year contracts. Bradley Auckland signed the contract. Didn't Little she? was what, on one, and obviously she's gone she's to gone. Sheffield United now. Yeah. Daniels and Matthews must have been just on, on one. one. They've signed for Bristol now. Yeah. Um, 
Robe signed a new contract. Yeah. So she was one of them. Bradley Auckland signed Bradley one. Bradley Auckland signed a new one. Obviously, these two have just signed yeah. it. Christy Murray must have had a longer one, or maybe that's... She must have done. In talks. She must have been signed for longer. She must have done. Well, she's, if it's in talks, she's, still, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's on the plane this morning. So. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I, there seems to be a bit of a trend that we're always just one year. It's always just, like, testing the waters yeah. type of thing. It'd be interesting to see what Perfield's on, whether his, like, expires in January. And, yeah. like, you have to, like... I have a suspicion that because it was Jepson that brought her in, and Jepson obviously it knows now she's going to be like, in the long, the, the long term, I think it'll have been a permanent, yeah. more permanent role. More than likely, yeah. But, yeah, um, they had the l- nice little photo shoot for it. Oh, my <laughs> God. That goalkeeper kit is insane. I'm not being funny. The one for Frank Kitchen that was posted, she's, like, pure behind the net. Like, yeah. that's, like, pure... That's a magazine worthy there. Yeah. Yeah. Be in the cover of four four two before you know be, it. That should be a profile picture, really. Yeah, honestly, that goalkeeper kit is. It's in, funny. Have you seen it, Tom? I went to the club oh, shop. Unreal. On Sunday though, and it wasn't there. Maybe it sold out. Like it wasn't there, and I was like, Wait. "Did you want to get it?" I was gonna, I was gonna get that over the home kit, mm. and then I was like, "I oh, didn't know," but it wasn't there anyway. But I was like. What? No, but in terms of, I mean, I probably go back to the players now instead yeah, of the yeah. kit. I was just, it was just, it just like that's the first sign I've seen it properly, like, on on like the the women as well because you've seen the signing t- the signing players have all had the kit on and all that sort of. So you've you've seen only the home seen kit. you've only seen like the advertisement, the photos, photos for it, haven't you? You haven't yeah. seen like a proper like. But no, like I I they thought they were really nice, but in terms of both of them, I'm. That's the one area I've not been. Um, worried about yeah. this se- th- that last season and this season as well. That was one area I, d- I don't think I could see either of the players leaving. No, um, I didn't even know they were on one year, but you know what exactly. I mean. I, d- I couldn't yeah, see them. Yeah, you didn't see I it. Couldn't yeah, see yeah. Them fraying aside, and obviously we've written down here how many appearances they had. Mm. Proyce had seventeen and Kitchen ten. And to be honest, Kitchen I thought had more than she was. I thought I didn't think she'd played that many. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's my first first yeah. thought. Then I didn't think she played ten, but um, Price was out injured for a little bit, wasn't she? So exactly, and it was interesting. In one of the interviews, Kitching actually said, "I didn't play as much as I wanted to." So it is very much not just because Price has got the number one shirt, she's going to be played number one. Yeah, it's not that kind of atmosphere. I at think the club. It, I think for Kitching as well, she's only she's so young. Twenty one. Twenty one exactly. So. And, you know, she signed for Chelsea out of, I want to say when she finished uni, but I could be absolutely lying there, I don't know. And then she went on loan to Watford. So she's only really been in been and in around. Been in Sheffield it. United for a while as yeah, well. Yeah, she yeah. She's only been in, in and around football for a couple of years. So I think for her to be not necessarily second on the list, because I think as, I think if she has a brilliant pre-season, then she starts the first game. But at only 21, you're... You know, to be second choice goalkeeper for Liverpool, like it's not, it's not bad. Do you know what I mean? I think it is just maybe they base it on who trains better in the week of it's, training. It's genuinely just form as well. I think. And they make, I think they mix it up against opponents. I think Price is a better shot stopper from like from um, closer range. Mm. I think Kitching's great at uh, distribution, like out out onto the field f- for all the players and stuff. But I think it's very much a we that spot's not sealed. Like, with Liverpool yeah, men, you yeah. know Alisson's going to be playing yeah. probably every single game, yeah. other than being injured or whatever. But with the women, you're like... I, we, we couldn't, Sometimes we couldn't we call it. No, we didn't we know, yeah. So it's one of them. But I, I just wrote down a little quote. It's from... Um, I can't think what his name is. It said it on the thing. The goalkeeper coach. Obviously, Chris Kirkland left. And the, 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 the like, that tweet the other week, didn't he? Did he? Oh, <laughs> yeah. a legend. Um, he just said both were aware that you get your shirt based on performance and attitude and that's not going to change they're both very comfortable vying for that number one slot so that kind of tells you everything you yeah, need to know exactly I think that's such a good mentality to have for both of them yeah because if you give it to one person that one person knows that their position's sealed so maybe maybe they there's not as much pressure on they them they don't try yeah. as hard enough in training and stuff like that but if you've got that other person behind you pushing you all the way to that, that spot because both of them are completely capable of being yeah. number one goalie Definitely. when you've got that other person it's a sense of competition and i think it brings the best out of both of them yeah 100 percent. well they set off on their pre-season tour this morning oh i loved all the photos i know it's so like, like, oh. cute <laughs> i didn't realize they were flying on the same 
Is it the same plane? plane? Because someone told me it wasn't, but I thought it was because I saw them all well, together. They all they all went through the same the area. same like what's the tunnel? What is it? Just a tunnel? No, when you get off the plane, Gate. when you get off the plane and you have that big massive tunnel thing that like you don't you don't walk outside. You just walk I just call the it tunnel. the gate. I'm gonna Google it. Maybe it's a plane tunnel. Who knows? It must have a different name than a tunnel. Because some of them are glass, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah. while Tom figures well, that out. A, a, a jet bridge. A, a jet bridge. A jetway. <laughs> a gangway. A gang. A gangway. I love that one. A gangway. gangway. So the all walk. An air tube. An air tube. Oh. That's, there you go. That's fancy. So they all walk through the air tube at the same time. <laughs> the gangwang. <laughs> Sorry. The. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> The what? The official industry the name is a gangway? passenger a passenger boarding bridge, but a, yeah, it's a gangway. A gang. <laughs> you just said so. <laughs> I don't know why I said to be honest, but yeah. So the air tube, you all walk through there, but the then, gangway. But then Liverpool women went. Sh- when I've watched the video, they went straight like past the camera. So someone's filmed it on the phone on Instagram, and they've yeah. gone past the camera, whereas the men sort of went that way. I think they're in the same plane, but different sections. So, like, you know, in those massive planes... Can you get a plane that big? Yeah. Yeah. The ones that go to Dubai? (laughs) Tom says Dubai weirdly. Anyway. Either way, I'm so excited. I mean, we don't know anything about it. No, we haven't got a clue who they're playing, when they're playing, where they're playing. Well, we do know where they're playing. Well, we know what city they're in. I mean, like, stadium-wise and stuff like that. You haven't got a clue because you just haven't said. But they're in Notre Dame, Boston, and New York. Um... I, I I was gonna I asked you this just before, but I'm interested to hear it on this show. Like discuss it between yourselves. But do you, would you be happy if they played under like the youth teams? You know what I mean, college football teams in America, obviously women's. Yeah. But would you be happy if they did that, or do you want to see them play against better opposition? I'd like to see them play against like like the European sides. Like, Maybe a mixture of both. Yeah, like it'd be nice to see them play like say the old guys are friendly with like I don't know Barcelona or something like that would be cool. But I think as long as they play and get the minutes in and the the fitness levels up and stuff like that ready for the season, I don't really care who they play as long as it's just someone yeah. competitive wise. You know what I mean? I think it's it's the experimental phase, isn't it? So maybe yeah. if you go against a lesser opposition that maybe aren't the same age or even gender for that matter. Yeah. You're, you're working out tactically wise how how things play out maybe I yeah. don't know I think I would I you they can't play any of the WS the NWSL teams NWSL. because they're still in their competitions so there's no way you can play swing, like Houston Dash but you can't play you can't play any of them because yeah. they're in full swing of their season you maybe said, you said their g- gender doesn't matter you'd be happy with them playing an a men's team. Because there was the fallout after the USA women played the under-15s, wasn't there? Mm. And they lost that game. Mm. Do you reckon that could be just massively detrimental? If they were to play a team of of, of lads and they lost that, would, I don't would think that you'd be know, bad? To be honest... I, I, I don't think gen- they, I don't think they will play men, no, if I'm being no. honest. I don't, I don't think they will. I think yeah. they'll just stick to females. But I think in terms of, like, experience-wise, it'd be nice for them to do it, just, just to gather an experience. But I... I I think I'd prefer if they just stuck to w- against the women's game. It would have been funny if, say, the men's fix had like a week in between a fix or something and they played each other. Like a friendly, Like yeah. a friendly game and a, like the men's. Ma- like mixed gender teams, yeah, that would be good. Been, that would have been funny. I wonder if they'll have like the same training sessions and stuff like that. Like same okay. times. No, not like it, that, not, not like together. I mean like they'll, they'll be on like the, like, same, the pitch. same pitch and stuff like that. Like I highly doubt it. They might be in the same, like, training facility, not on the same Do you know what would be really cool if, like, so there's always some sort of quiz or video that that comes out during pre-season on on Liverpool's YouTube channel. It'd be really nice if, like, they all mixed it together. So, yeah, like, the men and the women's team. I've got a sneaky feeling they will. Or, like, even just, like, an interview where, like, one of them interviews the other one. Like, just something just a little bit I think they will. I think that would be such a good... They've obviously done this for a reason. Yeah. They've done it for the. I think they've done it's it slightly exposure. for the integration as well yeah. between the two the two sides. Like, I, I imagine like Lee and and Trent having an interview together or something yeah. like that. I think it'd be such a good idea. It's just whether or not I think the team have definitely thought about it. It's just whether they're going to execute that or not. I think yeah, there'll definitely be something that that they've got planned. But I'm buzzing to see 
what kind of content comes out of it. Yeah. Because I've looked at all the videos this morning and I'm like, this is incredible. I'm really excited for all the Instagram stories. Yeah, that's how that's our way of keeping up. Yeah. It's so it's like that's what I mean. Like obviously with the kickoff question, that's what I mean about it being like more personal. Like we saw Robe ki- Kitchen and De Clark and Lynette all on holiday, like yeah, yeah. twerking in water <laughs> because in Vegas. <laughs> And I was like, when would like you ever? Parties. Yeah, when would you ever see any of the men doing that? And it's so unfiltered; it's brilliant. Yeah, and that's what makes the the women's game, in my opinion. It was really nice. Well, we'll move on to a section we like to call news. <laughs> How original! <laughs> news, 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 news. You you said the other week. Oh, here's the graphic, and, then, and I didn't and put then it you in. Put the graphic in. So I'll maybe put it in this week yeah. if I remember. Hopefully. Could you write down the time for that one? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so first we have the women's Euro 2021. You have a bit of problem <laughs> there. I mean, literally just says 2021. I couldn't read that then. <laughs> um, that will be covered entirely by BBC. So obviously BBC covered the mm. whole World Cup this summer, and they've also decided to cover the whole of Euro 2021, which is exciting. Which is nice to hear. Lovely that they want to continue on that train. Well, they did. They did so well with it, to be honest. Yeah. The coverage of the Women's World Cup was fabulous, it was. in my opinion. It was really good. It was very they did, good. They did a very good job. Um, well done, BBC. Well done, you. It's not like you've been doing this for ages. Um, second on the list is Megan Rapino has had a bit of See, I'm not, I'm not happy about this. I can understand, okay. but... Let's just, hear your thoughts. So I'm just confused. So there was a video of it at the ESPYs. I think it was that anyway. It was, yeah. yeah. They won Team of the Year. Yeah. And then Alex Morgan won Player of the Year. Probably. I want to say. Don't know. Um, but there was a video where a young boy went up to Megan Rapino and asked her to sign um, the football. And, like, she takes it, she signs it, and then... She sort of looks away and then gives me back. Like she doesn't really interact with him very well, which which she doesn't. Like you can you can fully say that she doesn't interact with him well. Mm. But then everyone just sort of took that video and not really focus on anything else that she's done, mm. which is sort of a problem, I think. Yeah. First, you don't know what happened before that conversation, before that video had started. Mm. You don't know how she interacted with him before that happened. But then, and I'm not, I'm not making excuses. Like no, she could have no, been a lot better with it. She could have just said, up, like, just, just, it's a bit of a smile. I know like, it doesn't take much. Like that would have made that lad's day. Yeah. Um. But the only thing I think of at the end, like some, there's something spoken in like a speaker. So I don't know whether she's averting attention to something that's going on on the stage or something like. I, d- I don't know. But I, yeah. I do think it was wrong. But at the same time, where are all these people that are like retweeting that video saying she's she doesn't care about her fans when there's other videos going out about her in an airport spending about half an hour taking pictures yeah, of every yeah. single fan like yeah. there's, there's obviously two like, sides to every story she'd literally been they literally flew from france to new york like and she literally just got off the plane because she's wearing like the world championship like she's wearing that same outfit that for, yeah. the, for the parade and like so she's like, she's like she's probably still drunk as well like to bear in mind and like she's stopped for every single person do you know what i mean but it's also just like there's also there's just been a whole issue with her all summer really since like since the very first game there's been an issue with her and obviously some of her comments are a bit are a bit wild but they the more aimed but at she's got like, her own opinion exactly. people are allowed no matter how high up you are status wise you're allowed to have an opinion exactly it's just because people don't agree with it that's why they start to put the other person down which i think is so wrong like everyone disregards all the good things she stands for and just yeah. picks out one negative that's yeah. happened and it's like to be, imagine being here or whoever and just having like you're doing so much for something else but one little tiny negative makes everyone's opinion on you change just like that and it's like she really helped usa win that world cup as well yeah like she was like such she an integral top part. scorer she finished i know like she got the did she get played at the tournament? A sister as well. Wasn't a it? sister, like she did, like phenomenal at the age of thirty-four as well. Like absolutely bossing it. It's the politics thing, I think, because she snubbed the White House and oh, yeah, Trump and all had that. Snubbed the White House. No, exactly, and that, but I think a lot of people have taken umbrage of that, and it's the same the way that she didn't sing for the national anthem, and then it was compounded with someone dropped in a, a USA flag oh, and all yeah. that. Did and you see that? It, 
but it's all. I mean, come on. No, it's so all madness. It's, it's, it's madness. Ali Long. It's Ali Long, and she's got so here Alex Morgan and Kelly O'Hara, but like in like a huddle, and they have the flag but around them. Yeah. And she, so Ali Long just ends up having it, and she. I, I don't know whether she. I don't think she intentionally like dropped it. Well, I think I she think, did. She wanted to celebrate with the fans. Were there? She went she to puts like a flag I think on she the went, ground. I think she went to put it between her legs. Yeah. It's like hold it and it di- it didn't stay and it ends up on the floor and like Kelly O'Hara like pure like swipes it doesn't she's like quick to get off the floor and like someone is that like, such a bad thing to have? It well, on the we've floor? got a lot of American viewers of this show who've been commenting over the World yeah, Cup. Like, I'm very know, interested like, to know their thoughts on let this. Let us know what the thing is because someone said, "Oh, I can't believe she dropped she drag and dropped the flag like that." And like we're not patriotic at all. Is like. that like you know Lewis Hamilton just won the the Grand Prix last weekend and he got a flag from the audience and was holding it as he was driving around? If he lets go of that, does that get the if same? If he uproar? just dropped that on the yeah. floor, like would you be would you be? No, asked? Be asked. exactly. So I'm just like oh, he's just dropped the flag on the well, floor. Well, I tweeted about it and I got a lot of stick off a lot of Americans. Did you? Um, not a lot of stick, it's, it's but a it's culture, isn't it? But it's more they the were very, like, like the very patriotic. Yeah, they American said it's what it stands for, and yeah. I I understand all of that. I get it. But I just have none of that coming from Liverpool. I don't care about England. But yeah. it just makes no sense to me that you're allowed to then slate them for not liking the policies of their government and stuff. That's why people don't like Megan Rapinoe. It's getting all spun. And look, they're all knobheads. They've all celebrated <laughs> like knobheads. I, I didn't fully like it all. So you, but they've just won a World Cup. Let them oh, celebrate. So you know, like so you yeah. know the goalkeeper, Ashton Harris, you know her Instagram stories. Do you think there was issues? Do you think there was problems with her Instagram stories? When they were dancing in the... In, in the, the changing rooms and all stuff I th- like I that. I thought it was over the top, but every single every single winning team ever has done so that. So go back and look at Man City winning exactly. the league exactly. in May and their videos of them dancing in the exactly. changing room and no one... No one cared. No one, yeah, exactly. No one gave, gave one at all. Everyone but they're celebrating. It. Yeah, winning a World Cup for a, most of them won it for a second time. Yeah. Like, but it, uh, yeah, it, it it is mad. I, do, I mean, there's a bit of an arrogance around them all, but like, but that's because they're the best team in the world and I they d- know it. I genuinely so do fair. think that's like something that they that they do on purpose. Though I think that's just yeah. genuinely their personalities. Mm. Like, whenever you go to the states, they're always you know. Very happy and very loud and stuff like that. That's just them. Us in the UK, and there's no way we hate everything. We're just different. We hate everything. It's a different country. They're across the other side of the world. The way we are as a society is different, and there's nothing wrong about us. There's nothing wrong about them. No, like it's just that we're different. And when we see stuff like that, it's like, oh, that's maybe not particularly what we do, but it's understanding that that's what everyone over there does. It's not necessarily just those that that set of people it's because we don't see it potentially week in week out so it's like everyone in the usa knows that that's a thing but because we're a different culture and society we maybe don't realize that that's a thing so when we see it we're like oh what's this yeah but it's a lot of americans slating them as well it is a lot of Americans. Yeah, I've seen, but I have seen that. That's to the be honest with you, if stuff. I won a World Cup for the first time, the fourth time, the, the twelfth time, I don't care. I'm no. going to celebrate I'm exactly funny. like that. Yeah. But like a it's lot the of the biggest stage of the world, and you've just won it for your country. Like fair play. You know and like I mean? a lot of them are drunk pretty quick, and that's probably only down to the fact that like they haven't been able to drink for maybe like they're world class athletes. Like, like they probably don't drink alcohol. They've just won a World Cup. Like I'm, let I'm, them I'm, have I'm, a bevy. I'm fine with it. I'm just playing devil's advocate so that you can yeah. say your thing you know like, so that. me and Amy get all riled up just thinking about shouting. the content are you oh yeah, yeah, yeah. love that love that um, we'll move back to in, towards England then Arsenal, hello there Arsenal women have announced that they've sold more memberships like season tickets this so far than they did for the whole of last season which that's mad which is brilliant I think one it starts them being champions yeah and then two I think just because the hype of the World Cup is just really. They've had a lot of forward. players in the World Cup as well, yeah. haven't they? Maybe uh, especially like the Dutch contingent. Islands. Maybe they're like, oh, I like them at the World Cup. Where do they play? Oh, oh let's go and spot them. And yeah. like, it's not expensive. I don't know the exact price on it, but it's not expensive. Yeah. Like, you can get one full of poor women for seventy pounds, I think. No, that was for four tickets. That was the the family one. No. I think it's something. Yeah, yeah, for the family for one, it's like s- it's seven. No, for the family one, it was like seventy eight. I think it was. Yeah, it's something like that, and it's like it comes out to a, a, pound, a pound a game, a game for each person. It's something, something like, like twenty five, thirty five pound for the season, an adult season. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, it's quite. It's really cheap. Like, go and get one. Yeah, go genuinely and get one. come and come and support us all. Thank you. Yeah, and also, 
a lot of people don't realize i was saying this to tom and si yesterday if you have a season ticket or a membership card for the men's team you can show that at the gate at Prenton Park and you can go on the games for free. Like, for free, do you know what I mean? Everything's Everyone, so much better when it's free. It's, a good, really it's a good day out as well, that's the thing. It's such a good day It's out. actually a good day Every out. time we go to Prenton Park, I have a great time. I still hate the fact that I have it's to pay cold. £1.80 to go to fucking Birkenhead. It's also but, very yeah. cold in the winter. I'm gonna show up now because it's a good it's, time. It's really, yeah, it's, a, it's a, an amazing place. All right, just wrap up then. And sing and dance. Just bring your big coat and your drums. Gloves. And, yeah, your hands are So it's cold. like every football game ever. It's yeah. cold in the winter. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, and a new sign and a lift for Man United because they just can't stop, apparently. Uh, Mary Epps has signed from Wolfsburg. I'm <laughs> surprised. I didn't even know she was leaving. I was fuming. I'll make you tweet about it. I was fuming. I'm more just like... I'm, I'm just, just waiting so, like, for them to announce Tony Duggan now. So you know, f- we had this conversation a f- few months ago, and it was like, I don't hate any of the women's teams. You're blah, starting blah. to get there. Aren't I you? hate Man United, and that I think Why? that's just pure like just from the men. I think that's pure just because I hate Man United's men's team as well. Mm. Like Everton, I don't really have an issue with like the fine, but like I quite I like quite a few of their players like personality wise and stuff like that do you mean ladies With, yeah yeah the okay. ladies i hate the men's they can get in the bin yeah but like i hate man united women just because they keep getting all the good players they absolutely smashed the league last season and like everyone loves them i'm just like what? they've got such a good fan following as well yeah like when i say i hate them like that's a bit dramatic but like she hates them like they just it just it boils me blood because I'm just like just leave some play, like some good players for everyone else why do you need I'm them really, all I know this is bad but I'm looking forward to seeing what their starting 11 is for oh. the first game of the season because I think they've got more signings in them do you think Mary Earp starts yes no mm. Mm. no oh. Chamberlain starts I think, I think that's a more... sign that Chamberlain's not going to be there for a while. Not going to be there for she's too thir- much longer. I want to say, isn't she like 35 now? Yeah, she's So, well like, old. I think that's just maybe a buy for next yeah. season or the season after the media because she's only still young. I but, agree. yeah, Tony Duggan's definitely going to sign for them now because Abby McManus plays there. And I'm definitely going to the... cry. Abby McManus plays there, Mary Epps plays there, and they're all besties. So. Me and Lauren spent a very long time convincing ourselves that she oh, was going to sign. We came up with so many reasons why Tony Duggan <laughs> would sign for us. And every single one of them is going to be wrong. She's just she's chilling. Sign for United. She's just chilling in Dubai, and I'm like, "Con, tell me where you're playing next season. I need to know." Fuming. Fuming. And she's a scouser as well. Yeah. yeah. She's a mad red. Like Alex Greenwood plays for Man United as well. Like, there's another reason to go. <laughs> she's definitely going. There, she's yeah. definitely going to Man United. Well, United <laughs> could United leapfrog to like the top of the table with all these oh, signings? Yeah. Do you reckon they're going to be oh, as good? Oh, they as are. Yeah. Like, they are going to be top four. Are they next Chelsea season? level now? No, just below. Just below Chelsea. Yeah. I think they'll take a season to sell. Maybe in terms of, like, the calibre of players, they're definitely on level. Whether that... It might take, like, a half a season or a season to integrate everyone into the squad, I don't know. But look at them last season. Like, a year ago, these only just... Yeah, but then when they played against Arsenal, they lost, didn't they? Yeah, but you did... Lost against West Ham as well. But you could see... You could see... They got they, they were able to give them a, a challenge, you oh, know what yeah. I mean? So it wasn't just like Arsenal were all over them. But yeah, I just I don't like them today. Let's stop talking before yeah. you kill someone. Yeah. Um, England under 19s kick off the UEFA finals. Like we just get up when their games are so we can prove once today. It's one today <laughs> or tomorrow. I think they play Germany today. Yeah. Tomorrow, today. Carry on talking. Oh, 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 we need to know. Today at 7.30pm. See. And then they uh, they play Belgium next, and then See, Spain. Or we're they play so Spain and then Belgium. They definitely play Spain and Belgium. What order it's in, I don't know. But yeah, um, special mention to Amy Rogers, who is missing out on the USA tour to, do, to go to this, which, I mean... Heartbreaking. Yeah, I don't think she'd be gutted, really. Couldn't find it. Um... <sighs> Either way, they play whatever, but we'll tweet about it instead. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Follow us on Twitter. I, it's still, it's still mad that she's getting picked for under nineteen squads. I know if she is. She must be eighteen then. Can no, you be nineteen nine, and under nineteen? She's defo. 
She's defo not 18 she's or 19. Defo she's def no. She can't yeah, be. Yeah, she is. She's in the year below us. No, she's in the same year as us. No, she's in the year below us. 100%. Oh, I thought she was on your course. No. That's Neve Charles. And who else? And Ellie Fletcher. Yeah, that's it. I thought that was yeah. it. Yeah, never mind. Kill. Yeah, so she's here. Yeah, so she must be 19 then. Yeah. Fair play. Um, And then a bit of a sad, sad, sad one to end on here, Amy. It doesn't mean that. Just to clarify. No, I mean, the fact that we've gone down. I so know, but the the second part doesn't... Just the ignore the second part on the agenda. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't read that bit. Cool. Um, Trying to read out what it is. No. Yeah. No. No, no, no. no. the actual topic. No, we'll read the oh, topic, yeah. not that bit. <laughs> no, um, we're just going to leave it in suspense for next part. <laughs> so, after the World Cup f- has finished, the FIFA rankings have obviously changed. Yes. And... England have gone from third to fifth. Yeah, what is which, it? you know... Behind who? Do you know? It's USA top. USA. Netherlands third. I think you missed one. No, I know. Really? Um, Who's second? France is fourth. We're fifth. Second. Germany? Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be Germany, hasn't it? Yeah. We have sweet USA number one, Germany second, Netherlands third, France fourth, yes! England fifth, Sweden sixth. Oh, Sweden gone up. I was just my next question was where have Sweden gone up to? They've they went up from ninth to sixth. Oh, wow, Who went down into? Oh. Uh, yeah, England went down by two places. Japan Can't... not even in the top ten anymore. No, no shut up. They went down four places to eleventh. Wow, that's mad. That. Um. And yeah, Canada and Australia went down two places. P R K. Who's P R K? P R K. Yeah. China. Yeah, it'd be China. Yeah, public republic of yeah. people's public people's republic. republic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People. Either way, we've gone down to fifth. I know it's not China. It's someone. I'll find out. Okay. Um, I mean, not yeah. that bothered, but okay. We've gone to fifth, which is a bit. Meh. Korea. Ah, people's Korea. Korea. Wow, wow, we're gonna get slated. Sorry, <laughs> really sorry. People's Republic of China. With a K. With a K. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah, we just got onto that. People's Republic of China. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, but yeah. Well, that's everything on the sheets. That's all we've got to discuss. Anything else? <laughs> Floor's open. Open mic night. What do you, what do you want to say? Anything? People are supposed to come China. With a K. She's crying. <laughs> right, I think, I think it's best <laughs> to end it on that note. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Like we said earlier on, if you do have a question that you want us to use for our kickoff question next week and remember it's our one year anniversary so, so we're gonna film a special which we're not sure what it is yet but no. it will be a special so if, yeah just leave us any comments down that's below. a lot of pressure yeah yeah you're definitely gonna forget i haven't planned it what you what will happen is you'll plan all week to do the normal pod remember on the day that it's got to be a special and then we'll You'll go, Tom. We need to film a special. I'll have to think. Yeah. So. Maybe we should just film the special today. <laughs> just so we're in I'm too hot. <laughs> no. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Remember to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all next week with a new podcast. Bye.